Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. The wind is blowing, so today we are keeping it nice and simple. We've grabbed our TT sling bag with a bit of gear in there, a two to four kilo spin combo, and we're gonna be throwing a few three inch minnows for flathead land base. Stay tuned. Yep, 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 there we go. That feels a bit better, that one. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, that feels a bit better. All right, so I've just chosen an area where we've got a bit of mangroves, sandy bank, some drop-offs, a bit of weed, and there's a lot of bait flicking in here as well. So it looks like a pretty good area to hold a flathead, and that's our aim today. We want to catch ourselves a flathead land-based. So straight up, we're going for one of our go-to plastics for flatties, which is the Z-Man 3-inch minnows. The tide is still up a bit now, so we're going to start with more of a natural bait fish colour. And then as the water starts to drop out and it gets a bit dirtier, we might change it up to more of a fluoro colour so that the fish can see it with that bit of UV pop in there as well. So let's throw this around, see if we can find ourselves a fish. There's a lot of bait in the water here, tons and tons of bait. So hopefully there's something in here feeding on it. One, one tip that I would give you first up when you are fishing land-based is have a look at what your wind and what your tide are doing. So the area that we've picked today, we've got a, a wind blowing in this direction. So it's gonna help us with some nice long casts with the breeze and our tide is coming back this way. So we wanna throw up that way and bring the plastic back naturally with the current. So we'll just fan our cast to cover plenty of water and we're throwing with the wind and bringing back with the current so that plastic looks natural bouncing back with the flow. Yep, there he is. Beautiful little pickup on the slow roll. Nice little flatty. Eating our three inch minnows in gold rush. So that dirty watercolor, I opted to change it up and go a bit darker with that plastic. So that black makes a beautiful silhouette with that gold providing a little bit of flash in the sunlight that we've got there. Yeah, that's a beautiful little flatty. So as, as we were mentioning earlier, we're just sling bagging it, traveling light. It's, it's great if you've just got short windows of time before or after work, have the sling bag set up, have a rod ready to go, just pick it up and off you go for an hour or two, flicking the edge. That's a beautiful little fish, gave us a bit of stick. We'll send him back. See you later, mate. There you go, so that's just a, a long cast with the three inch minnows. I've got it on a quarter ounce three o, which I like for varying depth. I can fish it over the shallows, I can fish it on the deeper edges that run out through here as well and we can, we can keep it on or near the bottom. So that time I was just throwing a big long cast and I was retrieving, winding with the rod tip up and flicking so the plastic was up off the bottom. He's just chased it down and nailed it right at my feet which is pretty cool. Might have a couple more flicks and see if we can find one more. You can see where I'm standing here is lighter coloured water. That's the sand spit that I'm out on the sandbank. And as it gets darker there, that's the drop off. So that fish ate it as I was bringing it back toward me with the flow. So I'm just throwing a long cast and hopping it back or rolling it back over the top. And that fish ate it right as it came up over that drop off. It was like, here's my last chance to eat this before it's up over the bank. Bang, fish on. So basically I'm just throwing up current. That tide's running out, so we'll throw a flick it up there. And that time I was actually just rolling it. So I was rolling and twitching it, rolling and shaking it. So I wasn't on the bottom. Um, it's only half a meter deep. So as long as I'm near the bottom, those flathead will come up and ambush that, that soft plastic. So that's that three inch minnows in gold rush, a nice dirty water color as that tide's dropping out of here. So I just got to keep that plastic on or near the bottom. So that's the rolling retrieve. The other retrieve that I use quite often when fishing areas like this is just a hopping retrieve. So I just give it a few hops up off the bottom, let it hit the bottom, and I'll just keep hopping and dropping it back, letting it hit the bottom all the way back to my feet pretty much because often those strikes will come right at your feet. So just a hopping retrieve, hop and pause. The hop and pause, we've got a little bit of weed around in some of these areas. So that's why I switched it up to that rolling retrieve with a bit of shaking and that got the bite. So we'll just mix it, keep mixing up the retrieve until you find what works. 
I'll often emphasize to people when I'm talking to them about land-based fishing is to, to think about where the fish are sitting, what looks natural, where are we going to put that plastic and how are we going to retrieve it so that it looks realistic and the fish want to eat it. And an important thing is water movement and water flow. So if water's flowing out of here, out of a drain, then we want to be picking the edges of that drain. If it's flowing in between the weed, we want to hit in between the weed. And it's all about varying your retrieve, varying where you're casting to, and changing your angle of attack as well. Like sometimes you could have a, a weed bed sitting there and you might throw a few casts at it from this side, then change it up and go over there and throw a few casts from that side and you might get the bite bringing that plastic back at a different angle. The important thing to remember is most of the time when we're fishing, we want to be bringing it, oh, bait fish, we want to be bringing it back with the flow. If we were to cast the plastic out here and it gets swept down that way, it's automatically going to start to look unnatural. The water movement creates drag, it lifts the plastic up off the bottom. You can't pause it easily and let it hit the bottom and make that plastic look natural, make it look injured. So we want to be coming back with the flow, not letting the flow dictate the action of our lure. We want to dictate the action of our lure and bring it back naturally. Yep, right on that edge. Oh. Yep, yep, there we go. That feels a bit better, that one. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, that feels a bit better. Oh, come on. Ate it right on that edge. We, we were just saying that there should be a fish on that edge, should be a fish on that edge. Beautiful drop off edge. This is a decent fish. Oh, yeah. We might head back over to this sand. Oh, that's a cracker. There you go. Grab your rod and reel, grab your sling bag, get out there and get stuck into them. This is a beautiful fish. So we're gonna slide it up onto the sand. What a cracker. So you can, you can use, oh, come on buddy. In this situation, you can use the momentum of the fish to push water up onto the bank and it pushes like a wave in front of it, slides up onto the sand. So I'm gonna use the wave in front of it and slide it up onto the bank and have a look at that. That is a cracker fish. That is beautiful. That's what we came for. It's amazing, just grab that rod, grab that sling bag, and get trekking. Find a nice little bit of bank, bit of edge, spot on. So there you go, that guy's up in the high 50s. Nice chunk of fish, beautiful condition. I'll get a hold of it and show you guys. Oh, there we go, look at that, oh. She's still fired up, come in a bit green up on the sand. Pick her up and show you. There you go, have a look at that. That's a beautiful flatty. Quarter ounce three oh that is in that big eyes and that's in the black and silver with the glow eyes and our gold rush three inch minnows, that nice dirty water color. And have a look at that, that is a beautiful flatty. All right, there we go. So that's proven a winner so many times, that gold rush color. We threw a couple of different colors earlier and then we're like, just put the gold rush on. They love it in the dirty water, it's a beautiful color. So that is a magic fish. She's getting up towards 60, that one, I reckon. She's going to produce lots of baby flatties for us. So we'll put her in the shallows there. And she's, she's going to swim. She's away. See you later, fish. <laughs> Pumped. Pumped. All right, that sling bag for me has made a massive difference. Like this, this thing allows you to carry everything with you and stay nice and mobile so you can make the most of those short windows of time. So this guy here, I've got my measure, my pliers, a few plackies and jig heads in there, my water bottle in the main compartment, and I can drop that rod in there when I need to rig, got my pliers there ready to go. So everything's with me. I can have that all set up and ready to go and just hanging in the cupboard. Or if you end up in the doghouse, make sure you got one hanging in the doghouse so you can grab it and get out there for a fish. And I've got my rod combo rigged pretty much ready to go as well. So 
at the drop of a hat, if I've got an hour or two, I can pick it up, I can get out there and I can chase a few fish like we have done today. So we've got out there with minimal gear, we've caught a couple of fish, super, super simple, and put a bend in the rod, which is what we're all about. So we'll keep flicking, see if we can catch one of their mates. All right, there we go, folks. A quick little session chasing Flatty's land-based. Grab and go with our sling bag and our two to four kilo combo out there walking the edges and flicking around a few soft plastics. Three inch minnows getting a couple of nice flatties there. So I hope you enjoyed that little land base session. Set yourself up so you can get out there and make the most of those short windows of time. Stay tuned for more fishing adventures coming soon. Fish on.